Hey beautiful people, welcome to my channel. My name is Busesiwe Lamini Haredi, the Kempet Principal. If you haven't subscribed already to my channel, may you please click the subscribe button there at the bottom and also click on the notification bell so that every time when I upload a video, you will be notified so that you can be able to check it out and be the first one. So today we are still continuing with the preparation of solutions, but we are doing our concentrated um, basis or uh, acids. So what usually happens that when bases and acids are manufactured, they are manufactured in the basis of weight over weight. If you can still remember in the beginning, I told you that um, concentration can also be expressed as a weight over weight. So because of this weight over weight situation, it makes it impractical for us to be able to weigh these uh, solutions when we are preparing the percentages and the concentrations that we would want to use. So that's why we have to look at alternatives to be able to do that. So the alternative that we'll look at is the calculation. And that calculation basically is when we use uh, the specific gravity. So what you do, you look at the label of that specific um, solution, that acid or that base, and then you will check what it is the specific gravity of it. And then you also look at the assay. So let's say, for example, on the label of nitric acid, it's written that the specific gravity, which is the SG, is 1,42, and the assay is 70%. So basically what this means is that on that solution, one mil of that acid, that solution, or of that base, it contains 1,42 grams. And then that 1,42 grams, basically 70% of it, Seventy percent of it, basically, what it is, it is um, the nitric acid. So that's how basically we use the specific gravity and the assay in trying to interpret it. So now let's try to do an example whereby you have a situation you need to prepare a solution so that you can see how are we gonna take this and put it into consideration. situation where we have been asked how much of the nitric acid with a specific gravity of 1,42 and an assay of 70% would you need to prepare 300 ml of a one molar nitric acid solution. So with this one as well there is a recipe. So with that recipe step number one you need to determine actually how many grams do you need of this nitric acid to be able to prepare that solution. And then number two, you will need to calculate the purity Basically, this, what this purity is, it is what we are calculating. We are going to calculate how many grams in one mil of that um, nitric acid do we need in that specific solution that it's there. And then the last one, what we are going to do now, we are going to put step number one and number two together 
in ratio and proportion to determine now the amount of mils because now we are talking about a concentrated solution that we will need to measure out from that solution to prepare the solution that we need which is a one molar Okay, so now let's follow our recipe into calculating or into preparing this solution. Né? So we said step number one, we need to calculate how many grams are needed. So what we are given, we are given the molarity and also the volume that we need to prepare. So what we can do, we can use the molarity formula to determine the grams because if you can remember from the molarity formula you can be able to determine the grams in a liter and then do ratio and proportion into getting that specific um, volume that you need so that's the first step so if you can remember the formula it's grams per liter is equals to molarity multiplied by molecular weight and the molarity we are given which is one and the mole <laughs> sorry and the molecular weight if you can still remember we're calculating using the periodic table so in this case our molecular weight is 63 and then one multiplied by 63 which will give you 63 grams per liter so which means if we were being asked to prepare a liter of this solution this would be our final answer for step number one but in this case we are given a specific volume which is 300 milliliters so it means now we would need to do a ratio and proportion to be able to get the grams for the 300 milliliters so it means i have 63 grams per thousand mils because remember you can only use ratio and proportion if you have the units that are the same so this is 300 mils and then i have x then you're gonna cross multiply so this is going to be thousand x is equals to 63 multiplied by 300 which gives 18,900 and then if you can still remember we're gonna divide by thousand so that we can be left with x only on this side and what you do on the left hand side you must do on the right hand side and then our x is equals to 18.9 grams so this is our final gram so that the grams that we need to prepare that solution that is 300 mils it means we need to have 18.9 grams of this nitric acid so basically that is step number one so now we have to do step number two So step number two says we need to calculate the purity. So to calculate the purity, the formula is purity is equals to the specific gravity multiplied by the assay. So we're just going to substitute. So the specific gravity is 1,42 multiplied by the assay it's 70%, which is 70 over 100. Then we just put it in a calculator. which gives us 0 0.99 for grams per milliliter. So basically it's 0 0.99 grams per milliliter that it is pure of nitric acid. And then that's step number two. And then once we're done with step number two, we're going to go to step number three, whereby we say we're going to put step number one and step number two together to get the mills. So now we know that... 0 0.994 grams it is pure it is nitric acid pure in one mil so now we want to know because now i need 18.9 grams that will be pure of this nitric acid so how much mils must i get from that solution that is concentrated that i have so which will be your x so now we are looking for the mils and then you're just going to cross multiply 
then you're gonna get 0 0.994x which is equals to 18,9 and then because we need x on this side we don't need 0 0.994 so we're just gonna divide by 0 0.994 and what you do on the left hand side you must do on the right hand side so x is equals to Nineteen comma zero one milliliters. So now to write up your statement, it means you will measure nineteen comma zero one mils of the nitric acid concentrated solution and top it up to three hundred mills with distilled water to make up a one molar solution then voila now we have prepared a one molar solution of nitric acid that is pure of nitric acid so now we did an example whereby you are given the concentration as molarity but you can get a question whereby you are given um the concentration maybe in percentage then as well you need the steps you're still gonna follow the same steps but what differs is when you get the number of grams that are needed let's do a quick example of that one as well we're not gonna change a lot from here we're just gonna change the the concentration Let's say now, they say how much of the nitric acid with a specific gravity of 1,42 and then I say of 70% would you need to prepare a 300 ml of a 10% nitric acid solution. So you're still going to go the same way. You're going to calculate how many grams are needed. So with the percentage, so it's 10 grams if you can remember over 100 mils so if you can still remember that's how we write the, the percentage so now if they said you must prepare a hundred mil so it means from here you would have had your answer by just simplifying this percentage you would have used your 10 grams but now they want a 300 mil so it means now we need to get grams for at 300 ml and then you just do ratio and proportion which is going to be 1000x which is equals to 3000 and then you're going to divide by 100 and divide by 100 on that side because what you do on the left hand side you must do on the right hand side which will give you 30 grams so it means you're going to need 30 grams and then when it goes to step number two it's gonna still be the same which we got 0 0.994 grams per milliliters and then now we need to do step number three whereby we put the answer from step number two and step number one together so it's going to be 0 0.994 grams in one mil now i have 30 grams how much or how many mils do i need you cross multiply so it's 0 0.994 x is equals to 30. then we're gonna divide by 0 0.994 divide by 0 0.994 and then x is equals to 0.994 which gives us 30,2 mils. So it means now from that solution that is concentrated, you are going to measure 30 mils, and then you will top it up to 300 mils to prepare a 10% nitric acid solution. So basically that is how you will use the specific gravity N and assay 
you know, to assist you to be able to prepare concent uh, solutions from concentrated acids and basics. So basically, this is where I'm going to end today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, any question, feel free to contact with me um, on the uh, comments field. And I'll be gladly to be able to interact with you. And that's it from me. See you.